Okay, so in this video, I want to take a look at a new service that I was made aware of recently. And what it does is it leverages ChatGPT's API to allow you to essentially converse with a PDF file. Now, I have not used this service yet. This is literally a cold coming into the URL and checking things out. So right off the bat, what I love about it is its simplicity. It's basically telling you your PDF size is limited to 120 pages. This is obviously due to the, the high demand. It says for more use, use your own key. If I understand why that actually is, it's because they're using the chat GPT API and that is based on tokens. And so the more words, the more pages that this has to parse, the more tokens it uses. And then therefore the more of the API it's leveraging and the cost is probably something that they're trying to keep under control here. Uh, but I love the simplicity of this. Just drop your PDF here or you can pick to do from a URL or find a PDF. And what it's basically is telling me is that you can unlock knowledge with chat PDF. You can discover new answers from historical documents, poetry and literature effortlessly. And what it does is it uses the chat GPT APIs to parse your information and allow you to have a conversation with it like a chatbot. So I have a document that I've been putting together here and it's based on the platform that I specialize in at my company and my professional job. And so I'm very familiar with the information that is in this document, but you can see here that this is a five page document PDF that I'm going to be using as a test. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop that file up. And chat PDF is going to analyze it. And I notice right away that it comes back with a very useful welcome introduction paragraph, if you will, making it personal about my document. So it's talking about the topic of my document, which is personalization for e-commerce. It's recognizing my commerce platform name. And it looks like it's going in and actually coming up with three possible topics that I might be interested in understanding about the document. Now you saw how fast that was. I uploaded it. It's already parsed the information and it's already formulated three starter questions that I could potentially ask to get information from the document. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click on this. What are e-marketing spots and how can they help me personalize my customer shopping experience? Before I click on this, what it should come back and tell me is essentially that e-marketing spots are like the slots on a storefront, an e-commerce website where things like product recommendations, content and promotions can be displayed. So we'll see if it knows the answer to that question. And there you go. E-marketing spots are slots or locations on your store pages where you can display marketing information to customers. And uh, it looks like it's pulling in uh, information on how to use the e-spots with web activities, which is a feature of our platform. And you can create dynamic interactions that way. So that's all correct. Uh, let me see if we can use some of the chat GPT stuff. Like, can you reword this as though I was a 10 year old. E-marketing spots are like special places on your store's website. That's cool. Uh, this makes each customer feel special and happy because they see things they like and want to buy. HCL Commerce has a lot of cool tools to help you do this. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let's see. How can I target certain customers? Okay, so targets are like special rules that you can set up to make sure an activity only applies to certain customers. For example, you can target customers who have viewed a specific product or category or have items in their cart. 
You can also target based on a customer's purchase history or what keywords they used in search. There are many different ways to use targets to personalize the shopping experience for your customers. Now, what I can tell you is in my documentation, I do not have wording like this. So it did actually formulate this wording and it is actually correct. Um, how do I uh, classify different customer groups? I'm looking for something about customer segments. Here you go. You can use something called customer segment model. I don't know if it's still trying to respond as though I'm a 10 year old. It definitely seems to be using some lighter, more casual wording, but I kind of like it. So the model allows you to define segments based on different criteria, such as inclusivity or exclusivity to other segments, registration status, demographic, demographic information, address information, etc. Alternatively, you can create dynamic segments by defining prerequisite behaviors that can automatically add or remove customers from these segments. This gives you a lot of flexibility in how you classify your customers into different groups. So far, I'm pretty impressed. I really like the way this is interacting with me. Uh, so let me ask some more questions. What type, what types of content can I display? Okay, so it's telling me I can do images, URLs, text for store display, text for SMS, external URLs. So that's all good. That came back correct. Do you provide any feature to have a conversation with customers? Dialogue activities, bingo. So I've got that correct. How can I test out different, uh, I'll say strategies on my site? Yep, bingo, marketing experiments. Got that correct. Is it possible to control the search results on my site. Okay, so search rules was the correct topic to go into. You can use search rules to promote certain products or categories, boost or bury certain search terms, and even create custom sorting rules. By using search rules, you can ensure that your customers are seeing the most relevant and useful results for their needs. Uh, what types of search rule, actually, do you provide any search rule examples or templates? Okay, that's correct. And it even gives me an example, which I do have this example in my document, but the wording is not exactly the same as this. So it's summarizing what I put in. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with uh, the ability for this to be able to parse my PDF as quickly as it did and then allow me to have basically a conversation with the content that is in the PDF using the ChatGPT APIs. I hope this video was helpful.